Louise Wilson is an accredited sommelier with the International Sommelier Guild, and she also holds a diploma from the Wine and Spirits Education Trust. She's the author of the Wine Lover's Coloring Book, and she joins me from her home in the heart of Niagara Wine Country today to talk about that. Welcome, Louise. Hi, Natalie. It's a pleasure to be here. Terrific. Okay. Before we jump into uh, your book, let's talk about how you developed a passion for wine. Maybe the first memorable wine that you recall tasting. Where were you? What was it? Yes, I remember exactly where I was. I was just starting to learn about wine, and a friend and I went to a fantastic little restaurant in Victoria, and she knew more about wine than I did, so she ordered me a glass of Pfaffenheim Gewürztraminer. Oh, that's a mouthful. <laughs> yes, it must have been the first uh, Gewürztraminer I ever had because it knocked my socks off. Wow. So, you know, all those aromas and fragrances and I didn't realize wine could be like that. And so for me that that was a game changer. So that was the wine that really sparked my interest and my curiosity and it goes on from there. Ah, that's terrific. There usually is a pivotal wine. And then you've pursued lots of studies with very um, reputable organizations, the International Sommelier Guild and so on. So what um, encouraged you or gave you the idea for the Wine Lovers uh, Coloring Book here? Well, I really wanted to create a fun and easy way for people to learn about where in the world wine comes from. Mm -hmm. So the book really captures or, or intends to capture the fun and relaxed attitude towards learning about wine. So right. the book has 50 fully colored maps, uh, colored and labeled maps showing you where wine is made and which grapes are used. Mm -hmm. And then on the opposite page is the same map but blank. So if yes. you like you can test your memory by coloring in. Absolutely. They're, these are gorgeous maps, I must say, Louise. That's a lot of work that you've invested in this. Because when I first saw this book, I thought, oh, a children's coloring book. How interesting. But actually, it goes way beyond that because you get these beautiful maps and then a really engaging exercise to try to remember what was on it. But the, the descriptions of the regions are quite detailed. They're not for kids at all. They're, they're very adult level. Absolutely. There is quite a bit of information in it, but it was important to me that the information was presented in bite-sized pieces so that, you know, as a wine lover, let's say you're enjoying a glass of Bordeaux one night and you're curious hmm, what grapes might be in this wine, you could flip to the Bordeaux page and quickly jump in and find out, you know, what grapes might be in that wine and then come back out. So for me, getting, you know, in and out, getting the skinny on what you're looking for, for uh, was really important. So I wanted that kind of a, a resource for wine people. Terrific. And do you find that because, you know, you present the map and then you've got the blank, um, is it a more engaging way to learn, um, trying to remember what it was you saw and uh, repeat the regions over here versus reading a lot of text and that sort of thing? Because wine can be just a little tedious when you're learning about it. Do you find this is, has this been effective? Have you got feedback on this? Yeah, I think uh, the visual aspect is appealing to people. Um, I've heard that, you know, not only reading but seeing and doing kind of helps to cement things into your memory. So hopefully it is a really good learning tool. But, you know, above all else, it's meant to be fun and easy and approachable. So really, that's those were the inspirations for the book. Terrific. And did you, um, to to develop these maps, did you have to work with a cartographer or a map expert or how did you get all of this information because it's quite a precise science when it comes to mapping regions or any region. Yes, and if if you were a cartographer you'd probably notice that the maps aren't exactly uh, you know as you'd find in an atlas. Um, I did all the maps myself, uh, drew them out by hand wow. and then had someone digitize them. So really it's meant to give you an idea of what you know what is where in the world, but they're absolutely not um, intended to be, you know, atlas specific, but more of a, a general idea of, of what's grown where. Yeah, and I think that's what most people want, um, unless you want to be, you know, a master of wine, which you're on the route to being. Um, but you know, it's I think if we can get the general idea, because I find a lot of maps, wine maps, are so detailed, so tiny, the text, mm -hmm. I'm not going to remember any of that. Whereas if I get the gestalt of where the major regions are in North America like this, it's much more helpful. 
yeah. So it's, it's a big picture. Uh, it's a, it, that's the way I like to learn is the big picture. And then if you want to go into more fine detail, there's obviously fantastic reference books that you know show the rivers and and the mountains and all the other things that influence the wine. But to me, this is just the big picture of where it comes from and and what grapes are in it. Awesome. That's great. Well, thanks, Louise, for joining me for this part of our conversation. We're going to come back and taste a wine together um, and talk uh, more about this terrific book, the, the Wine Lover's Coloring Book. Thanks, Louise. Thanks, Natalie.